step step one setting up iTrain for your layout so the first thing this edit is where we make all changes Oops, sorry. Uh, so if we go to settings we start in settings this is a generic settings defaults for your layout so choose the scale so let's just click double O time factor you don't actually have to set this for now but this what this is is speeds up time so you can run things one minute to a minute or just a factor of time so ten times time seven times time whatever you wish to run it at the clock so we'll just leave it at one for now options always set accessories so when you set a route or a train needs to automatically move it will always try and set the accessory if you didn't have this ticked then you if the point was in the correct position it wouldn't try and set it release after reset turnouts after release what this does after set a route it will release the turnouts and put them back to the default position that you've got set. You may or may not wish to have this, it's totally up to you. Detection of ghost train. So say you're running your trains and suddenly a train, um, a point has failed and a train ends up in a different block to the one it was meant to go to. This notices that issue and stops the train and says, well, this train's now in that block as well and it just highlights both blocks as being as being in use, not occupied. And it will show you which ones it is now in. Reaction to unexpected feedback in reserve blocks. So say you've got a train running a route and for some reason, I don't know, you're working on the land, you put your hand over the track and create a message sooner than I train thinks the train got there. It will stop the train because it's had an unexpected feedback in a different block. Detection and non-arrival of train. So say a train leaves point A and it's going to point C and it thinks it takes X amount of time to get there and it hasn't got there in that time because it knows the speed the train's running and the length of the train and all these settings. It will also bing up and say, train has not arrived on time. So this is something you choose if you want it on. I don't tend to use this one or this one. <laughs> the ghost one I do, so that would be the settings I use there. Default speeds for the whole layout. I don't generally change this, but you can. You can set your defaults for all of these individual things. Comments, you can just write in a comment. So that's one of the setting screens. There's another one as well under edit preferences. Auto save at closing, I would always leave that on. Check for updates on startup, I would also leave that on. System default, that's your choice. Units, I would either use millimetres or centimetres. Obviously, if you want to use inches, you can, but it's a massive um, unit, so it's harder to get accuracy. So I would use the smallest that I could. Speed, miles an hour, I guess, if you guys are in the UK, but if you've got a European layout, you can choose what you want it. Switchboard, you can choose if it has a grid behind it on the back here when you've got the track plan, the track panel working default fit this will always make it fit to the screen again it's your choice and it has three looks dark a classic and contrast that's just the color tone of the back of the switchboard but have a look at those and see if you like them i like the dark one myself interface this is to do with accessories feedback block addressing and boosters um, we'll come on to that later on, let's not worry about that too much now, the default will work. If you want a network, iTrain, in pro version, this is something you can use, so you can have a network of computers or connect tablets to it. So if you wanted this one to be the master and then you could connect a tablet to it, the tablet would be a client. Um, all these things are for network settings, we can look at that at a later stage as well. Remote control. Um, this is for a specific system that you can actually have a router under the layout and connect a Roco Wang Lang mouse to it and it doesn't need to go through the Z21 so the handset can be used purely to drive analog or digital trains depending on what system you have um, but it doesn't have the Roco 
the multi mouse does not need to be connected wirelessly to the Roco Z21 system to use it with iTrain. It can be used as a standalone with iTrain unit. Okay, so this is some of the settings within iTrain.